Okay, this is the sixth computer session. In the last session, we saved a planar object as an STL file. In this session, we will load that into Blender, and I'll show you some simple things about how to resize it, etc. The main thing is that I want to show you how to extrude it so that you can have a three-dimensional object. We can export it as another STL, which is now three-dimensional and that STL file is ready for 3D printing or whatever else. It may need some repair due to inverted normals and stuff like that, but for the most part, you're going to have your 3D part. So we launched Blender, which is an open source, very powerful, it's an awesome open source software for doing models, manipulating meshes, and creating movies. It's the type of tool that Pixar would use to make their cartoons. So once we launch this, we'll click the mouse button to get rid of the splash screen, by default, this square pops open, so we will hit the delete key and get rid of it. Now we want to import our STL file, so we will go to File, Import, STL. And then we have to navigate to where we have the STL file. And we saved ours as svlattice2d.stl. And now we'll click on Import STL in the upper right and up it comes. I can hold down the middle mouse button and that lets us orbit. And at this point, if we didn't like the size, we could press the S key and then we could basically drag and drop this to any size we want to. We could also type in a number now like 0.5 and it would make it half the size. So we're not really too concerned at this point about making something an accurate size. So we'll just go with whatever that is. So hold down the middle mouse button, we can orbit around it, but we can see we have a, a nice mesh. At this point, we will hit the tab key, and that will take us over here from object mode to edit mode. We could also click here and just enter edit mode, but the tab key will take us back and forth between object and edit mode. Object, we're moving the whole thing around like it's a solid entity. When we hit tab, we're actually looking at the mesh. We can zoom in and, and see the mesh. Now once we have this open, we hit the A key, it'll deselect everything, A will select everything, and so we can actually just choose a few vertices and drag them around and do other things, but we'll hit A and select absolutely everything. Then we'll orbit, so we have somewhat of a side view. Now we will press the letter E for extrude, and we can get to that through the, the GUI as well, but that Blender has a lot of wonderful shortcuts which makes it faster once you remember them. So we'll press E, and now we're extruding, and we can drag that to whatever thickness we want. Click the left mouse button, and I'll hit the tab key to exit out of the edit mode, and now we're in the object mode. At this point, we have a three-dimensional structure. We can look through it, and I won't touch on it now, maybe in other tutorials, but Blender is excellent for rendering, and we could make this out of a material like gold or silver or plastic or glass or smoke or whatever else we wanted. But we have it selected. Now we will go over to File, Export. We will export the STL, and we'll navigate to wherever we want to put it. Let's just put it on my desktop. And let's name it SV Lattice 2D underscore. Whoops. Two D underscore two three D. And we'll export the STL. And now this is saved to the desktop as a three-dimensional STL, which we could load into a 3D printer or do whatever we want. So in the next computer session, we're actually going to spatially, avera spatially vary a lattice in three dimensions rather than in two dimensions and extrude to three. So that's it for this session.